The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said that certain parts of Tejas Mark II are being manufactured, and the first prototype will roll out by end of 2025, and the first aircraft will be delivered to the Indian Air Force by 2029. The DRDO and Indian Army conducted successful trials of 4 km range indigenous man portable anti-tank guided missile weapon system, and it is now ready for final user evaluation trials. Kochi-based Smart Engineering and Design Solutions India Private Limited has been selected by Hindustan Shipyard to provide design collaboration for the development of Indian Navy's Five Fleet Support Ships program. Maldives President has announced that the second group of Indian military personnel operating the Dhruv helicopter has left the Maldives on 9 April. According to a media report, Indian Air Force is planning to skip 160 km range Astra Mark II, and directly progress to 350 km range Astra Mark III, as timelines of development of both these missiles will be close to each other. The fourth edition of AeroDef India will take place between 18th to 20th April in New Delhi, that will provide a platform for both Indian and international manufacturers to source components from India's growing defense MSME sector. Zen Technologies Limited is in talks with Indian Air Force and Indian Navy to create comprehensive training simulators for warship crew and fighter jet pilots, that would provide a realistic training environment to air crews and naval personnel. India has issued a no-time warning over the Bay of Bengal region from 21st to 24th April for a designated range of 980 km, and it could be the test of indigenous technology cruise missile. ITBP reports that there are 19 places on the LAC that could witness transgression by the Chinese army once snow starts melting during summer. Recent satellite imagery has revealed that the Indian Navy's S-4 SSBN is an outer dry dock, which appears larger than the previous two Airy Hunt class SSBNs, and the exposed launch tube suggests that the S-4 might be equipped to carry either 24K-15 missiles with a 1000 km range, or 8K-4 missiles with a significantly extended range of 3500 km. The satellite imagery also captured glimpses of the S-4 star, that is currently undergoing construction, and is expected to be completed around 2024. Hindustan Aeronautics is collaborating with Indian private sector companies to develop a retractable in-flight refueling probe for Tejas Mark II program, that will minimize drag, and improve the aircraft overall fuel efficiency and performance. The current Tejas Mark 1A variant relies on a fixed in-flight refueling probe supplied by British firm Cobham Limited, and HAL aims to reduce its dependence on foreign original equipment manufacturers for both the Tejas Mark II and AMCA program. The Deputy Chief of the Indian Air Force has hinted at a potential increase in the production rate of the Tejas Mark 1A, that coincides with the anticipated opening of a third production plant in Nashik by 2025, that will ramp up deliveries from the current 16 units per year to 24 units per year. The Air Force is currently in talks with HAL for an additional 97 Tejas Mark 1A aircraft. And while HAL proposed scaling production to 30 units per year with these additional orders, the Air Force seems comfortable with a more moderate pace of 24 units annually. Today's Top 3 Comments